Today I'll be showing you how to use Flight Hub to do object detection without writing any code. So to start out, we're going to go to flighthub.org slash install flight. There will be a command on here that you'll need to copy. So when you have that command copied, uh, you'll open a terminal and from there you'll paste that command in and press enter. Now this command requires you to have Kubernetes installed. If you don't have Kubernetes installed, there are instructions on the Flight Hub install page that tell you how to install it. Now Flight and Flight Hub can take a minute or two to install. After a moment, you should be able to visit the Flight URL and see your console up and running. Here, if you click the Flight Hub tab, you can see all of the open source workflows that have been published to Flight Hub. By typing into the search box, we can filter by project. We'll select the Flight Hub project and the object detector workflow. From here, we can import the workflow. The object detector workflow takes one argument. That argument is the URL of an image to detect objects on. To test it, you can use Google Images or another image search engine. Once you've found the image you want to use, right-click the image and select Copy Image Address. Once you have the image address, Go back to Flight Hub and paste it in as the image URL and click Launch. The workflow may take up to a minute to start running. Be patient. We can see here that the workflow is started and that its status is running. The first time you run the workflow, it may take a minute or two for the workflow to complete. Wait for the status to change to succeeded. When the workflow is succeeded, click Object Detection. Here, if you click the Inputs tab, you can see the URL of the image that we use to detect. On the Outputs tab, we can see that the workflow produced several outputs. In the results section, we can see that it detected both a teddy bear and a person with high confidence. It also thinks there might be a bench, but the confidence is low. The second output is a URI where the image can be downloaded. Make a note of this path and change your URL to end with slash minio. Here you can log in to the Minio browser. Click My S3 bucket and follow the path provided by the workflow output. From here we can download the image and see that it has correctly identified both the person and the teddy bear. <laughs> 